Maccabeem Revi'i, four Maccabees, 17. And some of the spear bearers said that when she herself was about to be seized for the purpose of being put to death, she threw herself upon the pile rather than they should touch her person. O oh, mother, who together with seven children did destroy the violence of the tyrant and render void his wicked intentions and exhibit the noblest of belief. For you, as a house bravely built upon the pillar of your children, did bear without swaying the shock of tortures. Be of good cheer, therefore, O oh, holy hind rather, O oh, holy-minded mother, holding the firm substance of the hope of your steadfastness, rather, steadfastness with Elohim. Not so gracious does the moon appear with the stars in heaven, as you are established honorable before Elohim, and fixed in the firmament with your sons, who you did illuminate with the belief to the stars. For your bearing of children was after the fashion of a child of Avraham. And were it lawful for us to paint as on a tablet the belief of your story, the spectators would not shudder at beholding the mother of seven children enduring for the sake of the belief various tortures even unto death. And it had been a worthy thing to have inscribed upon the tomb itself these words as a memorial to those of the nation here an aged priest and an aged woman and seven sons are buried through the violence of a tyrant who wished to destroy the polity of the ivrim these also avenged their nation looking unto elohim and enduring torments unto death for it was truly a divine contest which was carried through by them. For at that time virtue presided over the contest, approving the victory through endurance, namely immortality, eternal life. El Ezar was the first to contend, and the mother of the seven children entered the contest, and the brethren contended, the tyrant was the opposite, and the world and living men were the spectators. And reverence for Elohim conquered and crowned her own athletes. Who did not admire those champions of true legislation? Who were not astonished? The tyrant himself and all their counsel admired their endurance. through which also they now stand beside the divine throne and live a blessed life. For Moshe says, and all the Kodashim are under your hands. These therefore having been sanctified through Elohim have been honored not only with this honor, but that also by their means the enemy did not overcome our nation, and that the tyrant was punished and their country purified, for they became the antipoised to the sin of the nation, and the divine providence saved Yashere'el, aforetime afflicted by the blood of those pious ones, and the propitiatory death for the tyrant Antiochus, looking to their many virtue, rather looking to their manly virtue and to their endurance in torture, proclaimed that endurance as an example to his soldiers. And they proved to be to him noble and brave for land battles and for sieges and he conquered and stormed the towns of all his enemies.